Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of Revit's design options. So you'll find those under the Manage tab, and oddly enough, under the Design Options button. So I have a very simple model here, um, just a floor and a couple of walls, so a quick view of that. Uh, there you go. Uh, nothing special. And what we're going to do is create a couple of options on the internal layout. So um, what I'm going to do is back into our Manage tab here and click on Design Options. So when you open this up, we have our main model there. And what we need to do is first of all create an option set. So I'm going to call New Option Set here. And I'm just going to rename this option set to Internal Walls. OK, I should make that plural. There we go. Um, and then what we have inside this is individual options. So what I'm going to do with this is create, say, three options. Uh, that'll be my primary option. And uh, that's option two, option three. So uh, we'll just leave them at that. I'm not going to bother renaming those. You can obviously do that if you want to. So once we're in here, um, this is the main model. And if I flick down this to option one primary, you'll see that the main model gets grayed out. And we can start drawing in the configuration which, which represents option one. So to do that, I'm just going to pop into the wall tool and grab uh, a couple of internal walls here. So that'll loop. Um, again, don't judge me on my architecture here. Uh, all I'm trying to do is just show a very simple layout. Um, yeah, we'll do something like this. Okay, so that's nice and clear. And we can pop in some doors in that or whatever you want. So again, I'm already putting a whole heap of thought into this. Um, so there, that's option one. So we're going to stop that, and then we can flick over well, back to the main model there, and you can see that that is shown. Uh, so that's the primary one there. If I go to option two, we don't have anything, so we can start creating option two. And hit wall architecture on that one. And let's just do something like this. All right, so that can be option two. Now the other thing you have is you don't always have to pop back here to go to each of the individual options. You also have this down here. So at the bottom of the screen you'll see you can flick through your options down here as well. So it's been set up to deal with that. So I've just flicked into option three. Uh, there's option two and there's option one. So if I go to option three uh, I can just grab another architectural wall and we'll just do this. Okay. So they should be nice and easy to spot. Um, option three, option two, option one, and then main model. All right. So our next question really is with those in there, how do we display these on individual sheets? So what we can do here, um, obviously with that one set, we can just simply duplicate this view, um, like so. I'm going to duplicate it again. And let's rename this to option two. Yeah. Let's kill that message. Um, and rename this to option three. Uh, okay, anyway, look, that's those. Um, now in. Okay, now, um, just checking my spelling there. So, how do we show the each individual one of these? So if I come down to my sheet here, for instance, I can pop on level zero, and we get the first option shown. This is option two, and this is option three. But of course, currently, they're all displaying as the same thing. So what we can do here is come into our view properties. And if we look at this one here, um, under the visibility graphics, we have a new tab here called design options. And currently internal walls, it's showing as automatic. 
Um, set that to option one primary and hit apply. And obviously that's not going to change. But if I go into the second one for option two and hit the visibility graphics on this one, I can set this up to be option two. Hit apply. And I can set the third one up to be option three. So again, visibility graphics, go into design options, change from automatic to option three and click apply. So now when we come back into our sheet, we have all of those individual design options shown, like so. Um, now when we go back into manage here as well, we can see we have our main model shown. If I hit the design options on this one, if I change option two to primary, you'll see there, um, there is uh, a problem there. There's no corresponding relationship in the primary option, internal walls, option two. So I'm going to close that, and you can see there that there has been an error. So there's a few little things that will pop up every now and again in relation to that. Um, just bear that in mind. Okay, so if I'm going to flick that back to option one, make that primary, and close it. All right. So there you go. That's the, the basics of design options. They can obviously be much better than this and contain a much greater degree of complexity. Okay, thank you for watching.